You guys are actually going to die. Are you ready for this? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I missed you guys so, so much. I am so sorry. I have not been filming. I, to be honest, was really dealing with being really self-conscious about my skin journey and my hormonal acne that I have been dealing with that I've never dealt with before. I was just... I just had really low self-esteem and just wasn't feeling confident, wasn't feeling confident in my own skin. So the last thing I wanted to do was stand in front of a camera and talk. I tried multiple times and I was just really upset because all I was noticing was my acne, even though my family and friends said my skin looked good. It just wasn't it for me. It was just, I just wasn't feeling great. So. I feel like everybody goes through ups and downs and I definitely was in just a state of being really depressed about my skin. But I think I finally have come up with a solution and I feel like my acne is finally going down, which I am really happy about because I was trying so many different skincare and being very gentle and it just still wasn't going away. I have never dealt with hormonal acne before. I really had very clean skin my entire life, basically. And recently, I don't know what has happened, but I have been dealing with hormonal acne recently. I've shared in a bunch of different videos, but I'm on tretinoin, which has done numbers to my skin, just the purging phase, and I feel like I'm finally over that purging phase, hopefully. And I feel like I finally have found a skincare routine that has actually helped clear up my hormonal acne. I feel like I don't have any active breakouts. It's all scarring from what I had before because everything seems to be flat. I have a few bumps, but I think pretty much it's all basically scarring, which I'm really excited about. So I feel like the skincare that I have been using and the supplements I've been taking actually have been really helping. But I'm, I, can, I will share them with you guys if you want in a future video, but also I'm still on a journey, so I just don't wanna be sharing skincare and supplements when I really don't know if it's doing anything. I mean, yes, my skin is clearing up, but it hasn't been that long of me using the products. My dermatologist says basically you need to use it for three months till you really can tell a difference. So as of right now, I feel like it's doing a pretty good job. I feel a lot more confident in my skin and I'm so happy to be back filming with you guys. I've also been really sick. So that's also why I haven't been filming is because I've been dealing with a really bad cold. My boyfriend Alex got it and then I got it from him. So I'm finally feeling back. I'm still a little bit nasally and congested but other than that i feel really good so i am so excited to be filming for you guys i thought i would do a little vlog because today is actually my second year anniversary with my boyfriend and we're going out to dinner tonight so i have to wrap his gift and i want to share the gift that i got him because i'm actually really excited about it i really love him Probably my favorite thing to do is shop for him. Um, I definitely don't have very good uh, like self-restraint when purchasing clothing or accessories or whatever for him. I definitely have it have more self-restraint when I want to purchase something. I'd be like, Hannah, you don't need it. But with him, I don't know why I just purchase it right away. It's like really bad, but all I want to do is buy him clothes because his wardrobe really needs a little bit of, you know, just, just needs something. So every holiday or whatever I can get, I purchase him something new for his wardrobe. So I just get so excited, I think, to purchase him new clothes and things like that because he also does not buy a lot of things for himself. So it just makes me excited. So I want to share the gift that I got him. I also have a few new updates for my room that I want to share. 
Oh, also, I have been posting a lot of old clothes um, on Depop. I've been doing a bit of a spring clean. I started yesterday, so I'll share that. And yeah, that's pretty much my day. I really want to work out today. I might have to go to Target to get wrapping for his gift. I might have some in the garage. I have to check. I also need to go to the post office because something someone bought something off my Depop. And I really need to ship it out because... I've been sick so I haven't been able to go so I need to get that all done and go to the post office to send that out and yeah that's pretty much what's on my to-do list and then tonight we're going to dinner for our anniversary at 6 30 so I'm gonna get ready for that later so I just want to bring you guys along my day and just share what's new also, I have been really loving this natural deodorant. If you've been on the hunt for one, I shared it in my last video that I was trying it out. And so far, so good. I love it. I kind of want to get other scents to try out, but I really, really love this one. I feel like it does a really good job of keeping you smelling good even through working out like I go to boxing and things like that and I feel like I don't smell terribly bad with that deodorant so I'm really happy I found that because I've been wanting to switch to a natural deodorant for so long but it has been a struggle finding one that actually works well and keeps me smelling clean because that's actually my greatest fear is to be smelling bad I get so self-conscious about it so I feel like that one really works so if you've been on the hunt for one, I'll link it down below for you guys. But I wanted to share some new pieces that I got. Oh, I also went to Brandy Melville. I went to, let's go to my room, but I went to uh, Philly for a Penn lacrosse game and we stopped at Brandy because I wanted to get some really nice just pajamas. I've been seeing them all over TikTok and I really wanted to get some nice pajamas for bed, like some matching sets, so I got two. So I'll share that with you guys. I think one's actually dirty, so I might only have one to share, but they're pretty much all the same. There is seriously not a good place to put my camera in my room. It is, first of all, so dark, and I barely have any furniture to set my camera up, but hopefully this is good. So I have a few things that I have recently purchased for, actually I have one thing that I recently purchased and one thing that I finally decided on to hopefully get in the process of, start, of starting to construct and make. So I actually, there's a new vintage store that recently just opened in Reicherstown that I went to. I'll leave it down below if you live near here. Um, you have to definitely go check it out, but I purchased this, which I know is actually used for a platter for food, but I thought it would be so cute on my dresser to sit like perfume and lotion. I've actually, this is basically what I've had on it this entire time. So I have my Mason Louis Marie perfume, my Osei body lotion, and then at the top, I just have my jewelry. I just think this is such a cute little decor piece for my room. I love that it's a touch of color, but still keeping it very, like, mild. It's not, like, too bright and bold, but it adds a bit of, I don't know, color to my room because pretty much the rest of my room is going to be very neutral. But I just want little touches of color like that throughout my room. So it's really pretty, almost like brown, purpley. It's really a dark, especially on my dark wood. Uh, and I just love it. So I purchased that, which I love. I also, from the same vintage store, I purchased these earrings. I'm just going to show one. They're just these silver pearl earrings. And I just thought they looked really cute and vintage and... Yeah, they're kind of costume jewelry. They were like eight bucks, so I just couldn't pass up on them, but they look really good on. I actually wore them a couple weekends ago, and I really like them. 
Another thing that I have decided on for my room is the fabric for the bed that I am making. Well, not me, my mom and her students. So my mom owns a trade nonprofit and they have an upholstered program. So they are making me an upholstered bed and I'm just so excited. I'll put the inspo photo of what my bed hopefully will look like. I'm sure it will right here. This is what I gave them. And I narrowed it down to three fabrics and I finally picked the fabric that I like the best. So the one fabric is this linen cream color. It's just very, you know, natural and I feel like would go perfect with my room. This other is a velvet buttery cream, which I just love the velvet. I thought that on an upholstered bed would look so good. And then the same fabric, but more in a kind of grayish tan color or grayish beige. And out of these three, I decided, hopefully you guys think the same, I decided with the buttery velvet, like the cream, I just think this material would be gorgeous on an upholstered bed. I think it's just going to be stunning. Hopefully this is not too dark. I just feel like it's so dark, but I literally have every single light I possibly can on. But I'm just so excited. And so they finally can start making the bed, ordering the fabric and putting it all together. And I feel like once I have the bed made, it's just going to be such a difference in my room. I also found on Cherish two nightstands that I am in love with, but they are from Fort Lauderdale. So shipping is just so expensive. So I'm still thinking about those and seeing if I want to bite the bullet because now that I have those in my head, that's all I can think about when I am trying to find other nightstands. Nothing compares to those, which I hate. And I hate that my head goes there, but they're just so stunning and they would just look so good. They're kind of more, they have tints of a dark wood, but also a light wood in there. And I just feel like it would help bring a little lightness to my room, but also help, you know, bring in the walnut on my dresser. So it would just be a really good kind of wholesome piece that would bring in a bunch of things in my room. And I think with this, those dressers or those nightstands with this fabric on my poster bed would look so good so those are the room updates that i have for you guys kind of big steps for me it might not seem like big steps for me but just picking out the fabric of my bed has been such a struggle i have ordered or, or i ordered so much fabric swatches if you guys are looking to buy fabric swatches the first uh website that i purchased or ordered from was charlotte fabrics and then i also ordered from another place but these are all charlotte fabrics actually i think it was like united fabrics or something like that but it's pretty good big swatches you can actually kind of see like what the fabric will look like which i like some fabric swatches are so small, so it's really hard to tell, especially if you get a pattern. I mean, I didn't get a pattern, but I feel like a pattern this big would actually be very helpful when deciding like what you want on certain furniture. But I'm really, really excited about that. I also have started listing so many things on Depop. Like, I still have so many more things to list, but if... Let me know if you guys like Depop or Poshmark. I'll link uh, my Depop down below. It's a lot of old clothes, just things that I'm trying to be very strict with myself when I'm spring cleaning because I have noticed through this move, I have clothes everywhere. I have way too much clothes that I just don't wear anymore and I'm trying to get rid of them. Some of them are from college that I'm honestly like, I can't believe I ever wore that just because like it's so pretty but it's just so not my style now it's crazy how your style evolves and your style in college is like totally different than your style in your late 20s I don't know um also I I hate it that I just said late 20s I am mid 20s I'm 25 so haven't hit that late point yet that will happen when I'm 26 but 
yeah it's just crazy going through all these old clothes i'm like i just could not see myself in this now but i remember being obsessed with it when i was in college or when i purchased it so it's just it's really funny but i have so many clothes that i am posting and i've already posted a lot i have a whole bin there i have a whole bag here just a lot of clothes that i'm posting on depop so i'll have that link down below i also am selling some of my aunt's stuff so you'll see a very wide mix of styles and things like that on my depop but if you like poshmark better definitely let me know because i'm not i'm not like a depop stan honestly my older sister was selling on depop so I just knew how to use it from her, so that's why I use Depop. But if you like Poshmark butter, I'm more than happy to switch. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I've also been working a lot on my new website that is launching very soon, so I am so excited about that. It is going to be some personal styling packages that you guys can purchase if you want my styling help. So I cannot wait for that to launch launching very soon. I'm praying for the end of March, which is like in the next couple of days. I only have a few things to tweak on my website and then I will be launching that. So I actually don't know if I've ever showed you my wardrobe or my closet, but I've been really trying to organize it yesterday specifically because I was uploading a lot of stuff on Depop and just trying to just really limit the stuff that's in my wardrobe. I have so much more to do, but I quickly just want to show you because I feel like I haven't showed you before. So this is my wardrobe and this is what I've been doing all yesterday. I was trying to organize it. So on the bottom here, I have all my boots and my shoes. I want to get like something here to put my belts, my bags and my shoes on. I don't know exactly what that is yet, but over here I have my sweaters. These are clothes that I actually need to try on that I just don't know if I want to keep or they fit me right. So I'm trying, I just have those right there because I need to try them on. Right here is my belt. So that's where I currently keep my belts. It's really bad. I need to get something better to store them. And then down here I have my tanks, my tees, my long sleeves, my tops, and my button downs. And then over here I have my jeans, so my cream, you know, lighter denim. I have my darker and black in the back. Right here I have my dresses, and actually I need to share this with you guys. Hold on, I will in a second. This is a new vintage dress that I recently just got, and I'm obsessed with it. Here are all my jackets and blazers. Down here are my skirts, and then my trousers. So my trousers, a lot of them are actually in here, but trousers are something that I really haven't found that really fit well, so I'm currently on the hunt for them. A lot of them are in here, and I just need to go through them and see if I actually am going to wear them. And then up top, I have my bags, and then over here, I have swimwear in there and cover-ups, and then up here, I have... All my football Ravens gear is in that trash bag. I really need to get a bin to put that in. I have my boyfriend's, some of his t-shirts and things like that. If he forgets any, I just have some extra ones in there. This little Lily Pulitzer bag that I've actually had forever right here that I use just when I'm going over his house or something like that and some baseball caps right there. But wait, I need to show you guys this dress. You guys are actually going to die. I mean, not really. I, I died when I found this. Okay, why is this not staying straight? Hopefully that's not so bad. Hopefully that's not so annoying. But this purchase that I made was probably one of my biggest purchases on vintage clothing. I found it on Esme's drawers too. And I haven't purchased something this expensive vintage wise in quite a long time. And I've never made a purchase as fast as I did in quite a long time. I honestly wasn't even thinking when I purchased it, to be honest. I was hoping my sister was at a doctor's appointment 
and I was hoping that she, hopefully this isn't for focus, I was hoping that she was going to make it home before the drop went live so she could talk me out of it. But I'm also glad she did it because I think this is the most beautiful, gorgeous dress ever and I feel like I'm just going to have it forever. And just, I mean, I can think of wearing it on my honeymoon and wearing it on in Europe this summer. I do have to hem it a little bit, which I'm a little bit concerned of because it's a full crochet dress. It's just a little bit long. Honestly, it's not long if I wear a little heels with it but I really want to have the option of wearing flip-flops or flats with it so I would like it to be hemmed I just don't know if that is feasible but I'm gonna try and call like some knitting stores and see what they say but are you ready for this look how stunning it is the prettiest dress I have ever seen it is full hand crocheted all the way to the bottom the v-neck on this is beautiful the buttons I mean oh, it's absolutely gorgeous like absolutely stunning I am just so excited to add this to my vintage collection things like this this is why I love vintage clothing like this is just such a unique piece that I will have forever that I can pass down to my children I just I'm just so in love with it it is completely see-through so I'm not gonna try it on for you guys but I'll post the photo of the girl the model wearing it I might get it lined a little bit or I might see get some like nude undergarments from like skins or something like that to see how it would look underneath I'm not a huge like undergarment see-through moment but I feel like since this is tan and the crochet is kind of tight together that I feel like it actually won't be so see-through or like you won't really notice it as much as like a full sheer look so I'm gonna get some nude undergarments and see but it's just stunning the thing I'm nervous about when getting it hemmed is it does have this beautiful scallop like hem to it so when I get it hemmed, I would be getting rid of that, which I'm not totally, like, mad about. I mean, it does suck because that is gorgeous, like, the little scallop hem to it. But I think I would just wear it so much more if that was gone. I mean, if it was shorter, because I could wear it with flats. Like, this would look so pretty in Europe with, like, these. Like stunning like absolutely stunning so this is my newest vintage purses and I am so in love with it I hope you guys are too and I cannot wait to wear it this summer I just need to see I need to call and see if I can get it hemmed but I'm obsessed with it in love I'll link the website as many stores too down below if you've never heard of it amazing things they have a I think it's them no maybe it's Lucia Zola they have a wedding dress not a wedding dress but like it could be your rehearsal dinner dress my mom thinks it's a wedding dress and it is but I think it would be stunning as your rehearsal dinner dress or your after party dress or your reception dress or something like that your welcome party whatever you have because I feel like it's not as I mean it's stunning you can wear it as your wedding dress like I, I would but I know it's not as like elaborate and like bold for some people for the wedding dress but I think it would be stunning as like a rehearsal dinner dress or something like that and I have been sending it to all of the brides to be that I know currently just being like if you if you have like if you're thinking about it, I just want to send you this because I think it's stunning and I feel like it is my, like I would, I would keep thinking about it if I just didn't send it to them, if that makes sense. So I'll have that dress link down below if you guys are a bride. Stunning, the back, everything. It's beautiful. I wish I was a bride. I mean, I don't because I'm not ready, but 
I wish it launched when I was a bride because I would purchase it in a heartbeat. But anyway, it's beautiful. So that is my newest purchase and I am so in love with it. And yeah, I feel like that's all my updates. I need to go downstairs and see what uh, packaging I have, or wrapping paper I have for Alex's gift. Um, and I want to show you his gift. Also, I need to bring down the sweater that's sold so I can get that wrapped as well. I'm also selling, guys, I'm selling these ballet flats that I got my cousin for Christmas. I found them in my exact size. So these are a size seven. They are beautiful. I have worn mine in this. Like I have the same ones, but a six and a half. So if you are a seven, snag these. They are stunning. They would be the perfect spring, summer little ballet flat. They're absolutely beautiful. The color, and they're so comfortable. I've been wearing them out to dinner and everything. And I love them so much. This is my mom's wardrobe and half of these clothes are mine. Or most of them actually. A lot of them actually are my vintage clothing that I hopefully will be selling very soon on my website that I'm launching. But yeah, so much of this clothing is mine, which is terrifying. Anyway, my mom's gonna kill me because she's gonna kill me that I'm showing you guys her wardrobe that's probably not as clean and folded as she would like, but that's life. Okay. Oh, I needed the gift. That's why I went in here. Where did I put it though? I don't remember where I put it in here. I just remember I put it in here. Oh, there it is. Okay, perfect. So I got him two things from this new brand called Reese that I actually never heard of until I was in New York with him and we randomly walked into it and it was one of the only stores that was open because we were walking around so early so we just went in and the men's section was so good the quality was amazing the fabric was so soft everything about it I loved it was very European-esque the women's section sadly I didn't really love I didn't really find anything that it felt like me personally, but the quality was amazing. So it's R-E-I-S-S. -S. I don't know if it's well known. I feel like now like going on the website, it seems like a well known place, but I personally have never heard of it before. But I got him a polo that we actually saw at the store and he was in love with it, but he never purchases anything for himself. So he just doesn't spend money on himself. So I wanted to surprise him and get it to him for our anniversary. So I got him this navy blue color. It's absolutely stunning. Like, I love it so much. It's just this, what does the detail say? What does the tag say? I don't, it feels like... I feel like, oh, it's extra fine merino wool, but it doesn't, I think because it's extra fine, it doesn't feel like very thick or like warm. I feel like this is the perfect spring material. To be honest, I was afraid when I first purchased it that it was going to feel too warm. I feel like guys hate wearing like, I don't know, when it comes to spring and summer, they're like, okay, t-shirts, okay, warm weather no sweaters anymore so i was a little nervous purchasing this for him because i was scared it was going to be too warm and too much like a winter shirt and he wasn't going to get that much wear out of it for spring and summer but it's actually really light and airy so i feel like he's gonna love this and it's short sleeve so it is a very spring top i just i don't know men are weird but I loved the polo detailing. Let me get close. Hold on, it is so blurry. But I loved how there was no buttons. It was kind of just like an open V color. This is the brand, by the way. And I got him a size large. And I just love the navy. It's like almost navy black. Like, it's navy, but it's sometimes in lighting. so hard to tell that it looks like black. But you can kind of tell. I don't know. I'm wearing a black sweater, so maybe you can't. Um, 
but it's absolutely beautiful and it kind of has the band at the waist so it'll be really nice to tuck into pants and then he doesn't really have any nicer shorts and I wanted to get him kind of an outfit so he knew like what to pair the shirt with to be honest um, I mean I got him a pair of white jeans for Christmas and this with white jeans with a brown belt so good I'm so excited um, I think I'm gonna I'm actually more excited than he is uh, I feel like that's always the case with buying your boyfriend something but then I got him these little just white shorts that I feel like will be so good for summer. I don't think he has any nice pair of shorts other than like athletic shorts. So having these that he can wear with polo and button downs and things like that. And he can go like to lunch meetings, you know, casual lunch meetings or whatever on the weekends. I just think these are going to be really nice for him to have. And I loved the little button detailing. I just feel like I liked how it went over the zipper and everything like that. So I also love that it's a zipper because I have soon noticed boys do not like a button fly at all. I got him. I think the white jeans I got him are a button fly, which are fine. He just gets annoyed when he has to, you know, unbutton and button back up, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but anyway, yeah, so these with this, I just think will look so good and I just can't wait to give them to him. I've been dying. This came in like early March. So I've had to really hold out and not give it to him early. I'm such, I'm gift giving is probably my favorite thing to do. I love finding gifts, Christmas, everything. I am just, that's like my favorite time is to find the perfect gift for someone and just know that they're gonna be so happy and so excited to get it. So when I have it in my hands, all I want to do is just give it to the person so I can see their face and just make their day. So not being able to give this to him has been really hard, but I just cannot wait to do this. Give it to him tonight. So I am going to wrap this. I need to actually first see if we have wrapping paper. Oh, wait. Okay, this is cute. This might fit. Okay, let's do this. But it is so, so cold. Okay, I think I'm gonna do this. I feel like this is good. Okay, oh my god, this. It is so bad in here, guys. Don't judge us, please don't judge us. I feel like this is a good neutral bag. Not too Christmassy. I'm so excited to give this to him. They're also doing, I don't know how long the sale's going on, and also so many of the pieces are already gone, but they're also doing a huge sale currently of like a spring sale. So definitely go check that out if you have an upcoming, oh my dog wants to come in. You wanna come join? I'm over here, I'm wrapping Alex's gift. Yeah, I'm wrapping Alex's gift. But they're having a huge sale right now if you wanna go check that out, if you have a gift that you have to get to or something like that. They just have really great stuff and the quality is amazing. I'm definitely gonna be shopping here for future like gifts, like their Black Friday sale, if they do one, I'm assuming they will. Um, next year, I will for sure be shopping that for all of the guys in my life and the men in my life. My favorite thing is to share new brands with people. Like I love getting my dad clothing or pieces because he's really into fashion as well. And I love getting him a gift from a new brand that he's never heard about. And so I feel like I'm definitely gonna get him for his birthday because that's before anything else. Maybe Father's Day, because I think that's before anything else. Um, a gift from here. So I just really love it. Okay, perfect. Okay. 
Okay. Gift wrapped. Now I just need to wrap my gift or my sweater that somebody bought and head to the post office. Okay, I am on my way to the post office. I also need to see my key battery is about to die. I don't even know if you guys can hear me. My key battery is about to die and I don't know where I can go get I know there's places you can go buy a new key battery, but I don't know where I can go get one. I also, I have to bring my car in for maintenance anyway, so I feel like maybe I'll just wait until I do that and they can just get me a new one. I don't know, but I have my box all ready to go. And let's go to the post office. It is a little bit later in the day. I got home from the post office and I did a little form workout. I knew I, if I was gonna do a workout that today, I had to do it then or I wasn't gonna do a workout. I tried to help myself by putting my workout outfit on right in the morning. Like as soon as I got out of bed, the first thing I put on was my workout gear to kind of make myself get in the mood to work out. So I did a quick Sammy Clark Pilates arm workout, which Sammy Clark's Pilates workouts and her workouts in general humble me every single time. They always leave me so exhausted. I totally get my butt kicked every single time I do one of her workouts. They are so good. If you wanna test it out, I totally recommend. I think she does like a seven day free trial but and then I did a little bit of cardio I just walked for a little bit on my treadmill and I laid in my sauna blanket for a little bit just to fully sweat because sometimes in Pilates you don't really sweat as much like yes it is so hard and your arms are like burning and shaking but you don't sweat as much as you want to so it's nice just to sit in that sauna blanket after and just really sweat it all out especially since I've been been sick it's nice to just release those toxins that have just been built up from being sick for a week so i did that and then i took a shower and now we're here we're getting ready for dinner we're going somewhere really casually it's kind of weird putting makeup on because i honestly haven't been wearing makeup at all because i've been really trying to let my skin breathe you probably can see it like it's just right here you can kind of tell it's a lot better than it was and then i have this random one right here but it's mostly scarring um there's no really active breakouts so which is good so i feel like i let my skin breathe enough and i just wasn't wearing makeup to kind of help it because i feel like makeup just clogs your pores even though i try to be really good with my um the makeup I wear, I just feel like having a clean face is better than putting makeup on. So I haven't really been wearing any makeup, but I obviously want to put on a little bit of makeup for our anniversary. So I'm going to do that now. It's so weird putting makeup on. I haven't done like my makeup routine in so long. I kind of like forget the steps a little bit. But I think I'm just going to wear something really casual today for dinner because we're not going to anywhere really fancy. We're just going to a really casual spot uh, near his apartment. I'm going to meet him over there around 6.15 because I think our dinner reservations are at 6.30. So then we'll drive together to dinner. But yeah, I'm really excited. I'm really excited to get dinner because we usually don't do dinner on the weeknights just because of work and everything. It's just too much and I honestly love cooking and eating in throughout the week 
days and then enjoying myself on the weekends and going out to dinner. I just really honestly just also love to cook. So it's fun on the weekdays to cook and I just don't feel like the hassle of going out after a long day. I like to just chill, get my pajamas on and watch some TV. So we never really go out at all on the week weekdays. So this will be a fun little treat. I already know what I'm going to get. You know those restaurants where you just know the menu by heart and you have this one meal that you just get every single time and you just can't. I'm the person that if I have one meal that I just love, it's really hard for me to go to that restaurant and try something new just because if I don't like it as much, I'm just going to regret not getting my favorite meal. So I already know what exactly what I'm going to get. It's this salmon salad and it's just so good the way they chop up their vegetables and things like that. It's a really hearty salad and then sweet potato fries. Their sweet potato fries are so good. And then I did last time, we, were with, we went there with friends of ours and they got the tuna tartare appetizer. And I'm usually, I never really eat raw fish, but it was chopped up really like tiny and it was actually so good and I really enjoyed it. So maybe we'll get that as like a little appetizer, but I'm definitely gonna get the salmon salad for sure. And the sweet potato fries. I love sweet potato fries. I hardly don't order sweet potato fries if I know they're on the menu. I just love them. So, and I feel like my entire family loves them. So we always just share them no matter what. And it makes it a good balance, having a good hearty salad with a little bit of sweet potato fries on the side. But I'm just gonna finish my makeup. I'm trying to find like all my makeup because I haven't had it on so long, but I'm gonna finish my makeup and I will catch you guys when I am getting dressed. I'm mid doing my makeup, but I forgot that I wanted to share I got a new shade of the Merit Bronzer Balm. I love these so much. I have the shade Leo, but it kind of just felt a little dark for me. That's the Leo, and it's more good for my summer tan, but I just felt I looked a little off, so I got this shade in Scene or whatever. And it's just a little bit lighter, so I'm actually gonna try it out. Also, look how glossy that looks, because it's brand new. And I just feel like it will be a nicer, more natural shade, especially when I'm so pale. And my foundation is already so much tanner than my skin, because I just don't feel like purchasing another foundation and if you only use a little bit and blend it out it actually works fine um but i'm really excited to try this out yeah i just feel like it just leaves a more natural tan than a more harsh tan that i had with the leo shade like i love it for summer but i just feel like this looks so much more natural and more every day than the other shade. So I'm really happy about that. And then I always go in with my copper one from uh, OG, which is a little bit darker, but it has a shimmer to it. So I don't do a lot. And I just go over that and I just feel like it creates just such a nice glow but this on top of the leo i just felt was like so much so i just feel like it gives more of a natural glow i just finished my makeup same like i always do something really natural and simple i really love the new merit color i think it just is more subtle than the other shade so i'm really happy about that also i feel like you guys are slanted I can't tell hopefully you guys aren't but I have two options on what I'm thinking at for dinner I think I think I'm definitely gonna be wearing my still here blue jeans they're casual in the color but 
they're classic because they don't have any rips so they're a little bit more put together I think so I think I'm gonna go with these and then I was gonna do this little cardigan with my black suede trench which is downstairs but I don't know I'm also feeling this could be really cute this like more off the shoulder kind of top could also be really cute so maybe I'll try on both and see what you guys think and then same with the trench I think yeah I think same with the trench the same black suede trench coat so let me try the first outfit on I think that's all the outfits I could also wear this red but I feel like I've worn it a bunch and I'm kind of I just want something different yeah so I'm gonna try these two on and see how they look okay here is the first outfit I mean I feel like you guys have seen this outfit on me super classic super easy I'd probably pair it with not those I'd probably pair it with these boots little uh, kitten heel to make it a little bit more dressed up but yeah I feel like I'm kind of feeling the second option I haven't tried it on so I don't know what it's gonna look like but let's see okay I think this is the one I really like the shape of this top and the neckline I think it dresses up the jeans a little bit I think it looks really nice and I haven't worn this top in a while and then I'll just throw in like my trench or something like that and then I feel like these earrings that I got at the vintage store would actually look really cute with this okay I feel like that could look really good let me put you guys up a little bit so you guys can see that I feel like that looks really like cute and classic yeah I really like that okay let me put the other one on and then I kind of like I've been really liking shirts over jeans instead of tucking them in like shirts like this that usually I probably would have in the past tucked it in I really have been loving just putting it over jeans and not wearing a belt. I feel like I go through stages of like being obsessed with belts. Okay, why are these the hardest earrings to put in? But recently I feel like I've been going no belt. And maybe it's just because spring. I feel like spring's more laid back, more casual. And you don't want so many, I don't know, layers, details. So I feel like I've been going no belt recently but yeah I think that looks so good I love these earrings and I can't believe they were only eight dollars but okay let me put the boots on and I'll give you guys the full the full fact but I think this is what I'm gonna wear and I love it so I was getting my socks that I'm gonna put on and I totally forgot to show you guys the brandy sets that I got so I just got this white set with the point pointel I'm pretty sure pattern on it I think that's how you pronounce it I just absolutely love it I think it's so cute perfect to sleep in and then I just got the matching shorts with it which I love so and then I got another white one that instead of basically it was the exact same thing it just didn't have the po pointel detail it was just the stripe in the other set that I got so it's just dirty and in the wash right now but yeah I've been loving these so much they're just so comfy and they're so reasonable priced for nice pajamas especially for the summer I really like them this is the full look and then I have my coat which is downstairs so I'll show you it all together with the coat when I go downstairs but I love this top this tops actually my mom so I found it and stole it from her closet <laughs> so I think I'm gonna go with this black suede vintage coat I feel like it gives the outfit a little bit more dressed up vibes and then the boots and then I'm just gonna carry my modern weaving bag that I always have but I think this is the look for dinner but I think I'm gonna end off my video here just because I don't really want to film when I get to dinner I just want to enjoy the night so thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye i love you guys